truly memorable. Well, now the Southampton fans know that they'll have to be at their noisiest to compete alongside their rivals on the terraces from Merseyside, and it makes for a true tense semi-final atmosphere here for these two sides to relish and subdue. Everton give winger Terry Curran only his third game of the season. He's been out with a thigh injury for almost all this season. An exciting winger who will add such a buzz to the Everton attacks wherever he pops up today. As indeed will Andy Gray, who was not eligible for those two Milk Cup games. It really is a special afternoon for Curran. He was once a Southampton player for about seven months and actually appeared for them in a Milk Cup final at Wembley. Well, the present-day Southampton team are at full strength. Skipper Steve Williams has recovered from a knee injury, and Nick Holmes is the only survivor of the 1976 Southampton side that won the Cup by beating Manchester United. The referee today is George Courtney of Spennymoor in County Durham, his third semi-final in four years. And Everton get us underway, attacking the goal to our right in blue shirts, white shorts, Southampton in their red and white with black shorts. Well, will Everton get themselves through to Wembley for the second time this season? They've won the cup on three occasions, the last time in 1966. Southampton won it in 1976. Here's Neville Southall. Bailey just nodding it on. It wasn't a very good kick, that one. Trevor Stephen, a long, high ball. I think players everywhere will tell you this is the tensest afternoon of the season for them. And they are going to need just a few minutes to sort themselves out to subdue those nerves and quell that tension. And very often the side that can relax first is the side that can do the best work. Well, Mick Mills, all the experience in the world, including two FA Cup semi-finals for Ipswich. Taking another throw. In fact, it's a free kick. And back to his goalkeeper, Peter Shorten. This one chased by Mark Dennis. It's Southampton throw. And Dennis can Shilton get there first? A mistake by him. And Heath with the possibility of a chance. And a terrible error there by the Southampton left back. Very nearly letting in Adrian Heath. And Shilton for a moment was stranded, and Southampton were vulnerable. Header, supported by Bailey. Richardson, got past Mills well. Holmes supporting. Stephen coming in and showed far too much of that to Agbula. stage of the game Williams and uh, a very inviting bounce of the ball there and Moran is very quick that time Southall was quicker and Southampton get another corner Mark Wright is a man who could create a certain amount of danger if they can get that ball across to him which is what they're aiming to do and in the end it was Mountfield who had to put it behind for another corner is in there again as Dennis plants it in once more right with the header Worthington onto the left boots well, Frank Worthington on a losing
Sporting semi-final side for Leicester City in 1974, and he says, this might be my last chance of getting to Wembley. And certainly when that falls onto his left foot, as it did then, you would have thought that he might have done a little better. Armstrong. Wellington. Putting it straight at Stevens. Played for Reed. Oh, Agdula spotted that very quickly. Dennis hadn't got back quickly enough, and the linesman had his flag up. The referee said, let play continue. And Ratcliffe plants it forward now. And Dennis has now got back in time. Field. Might fall for Wallace. Good fall for Worthington. And it could fall for Williams. And in the end, Southall pounces on it for Everton. from both sides but there's a lot of fairly good discipline defending from both sides Some sharp marking and tackling and here's Gary Stevens with a free kick for Everton Midfield up from the back Mills with a little header for Worthington gets it back again and then gives it to Peter Reed. Seven-year-old Reed has got plenty of experience. He really hasn't stamped himself as yet on this midfield for Everton in this game, as he did in those Milk Cup finals against Liverpool. Downfield. Dennis again that long throw to good effect, but Mountfield was aware of it. Moran made him again towards Wallace. He was a little late spotting that one because suddenly he was between John Bailey and the uh, ball. But he moved in the end a little too late to get the right connection. Bailey. Weddington. Stevens. Reed. It's Curran. Reed again. Field. Little touch there by Heath for Reed. And Buller in there. And it might fall for Heath. And it wasn't shot powerfully enough really to bother Peter Shilton. His angle was good. At the moment he took a really inviting opportunity there for Adrian Heath. Well into time added on. support from his defense and the first real opening that Southampton have had and Southall made an excellent save Wallace again crossed in once more and that's easier for Southall half time whistle and really just the excitement or the goal chances coming Right at the end of the half, with Heath hitting one straight at Shilton and then Southall making a really exceptional save from Danny Wallace. So far in this cup competition, Mountfield getting it back. Away to Nottingham Forest, away to Portsmouth, Blackburn and Sheffield Wednesday. Everton for their part beating Stoke. Gillingham of the third division after three games, Shrewsbury and Notts County. Peter Reid. Reid again. Stevens, Holmes away. Fuller, Dennis, the long ball forward. 
Ellis was just about onside. There wasn't much in it. But what about that for pace? And the, well, the Southall just got a fingertip to it. And that goes down as a very good save indeed after a brilliant run by Danny Wallace. He outstripped Bailey, just got the touch there, which was enough to put it wide of the post for the corner. And that was a bright enough start to the second half. And Danny Wallace, who had a shot beautifully saved by Southall just before half-time. A little flick there by Worthington, very nearly put Everton in trouble. Good start for the second half, this by Southampton. And their supporters range behind that Everton goal. Mills, leading short for Worthington. All the tricks, a little touch there, right on the far side. And behind now for the goal kick. was a touch of the true Frank Worthington there. Lovely bit of skill there. Look. One touch there, a little touch there, and a turn. And a flick there, right on the end of it. Right. Williams. Oh, this might get he through. Hit it wide, a golden opportunity to put Everton one big step towards Wembley and Heath with 15 goals this season will be regretting a golden opportunity unexpectedly it came towards him Shilton was coming out and a chance was missed and now Wallace the rather Armstrong for Wallace Reddington's gone into the middle Moran's gone up quickly and off the top of the crossbar, but the flag was up in any case. For an offside against Frank Worthington. But Danny Wallace has looked as spiky as anybody in this Southampton attack. A brilliant break just after half-time. A shot that was saved just before half-time. And that one was ruled out because of an offside. Shorten coming again for this one. Again, the frisks now can Reed turn it back. Doesn't have to, he finds Curran. Played inside again for Heath. And Mills gets it off the line. Well, that's the closest yet. And it seemed that Adrian Heath had redeemed himself. No wonder they're congratulating Mick Mills. The corner about to be taken. And he just gets it off the line. Brilliant piece of play by Mick Mills. Fisted away, but not very well by Shilton. And another corner for Everton. Dangerous times these now for Southampton. And the faces show that it is. Stephen again with a corner for Everton. Loaded in once more. Shilton, the fists again getting it away. Reed has got support from Gary Stevens. Here he is. Trying to play it in first time, but even then that wasn't quickly enough because Moran was at him, but it falls invitingly for Terry Curran. Again for Curran. Corner once more for Everton. Curran with a corner for Everton. Moran gets it away. more. Good spell of pressure this by Everton. Another free kick. An obstruction by Dennis on Terry Cohen. Well, is this going to be the breakthrough for Everton? Reed comes for Stephen. Oh, they could have bounced just under the crossbar. Shilton really had to be alert just to tip that away and it's another Everton corner Stephen with it again the fist of Shilton Williams didn't get a touch Curran turns it back in Mountfield tries an overhead and Dennis finds it on the left foot
to throw to Everton. And Southampton just cannot get it away at the moment. Gary Stevens. Good long throw into that Southampton penalty area. Frank Worthington up there with the header to get it away. Williams now. Trying to get it away towards Wallace. It didn't have the legs to get there, though. It's Peter Reid once more for Everton. Back for Kevin Ratcliffe, the captain. Agbula. And Dennis. And a touch for the man who's been a spectator for the last ten minutes or so. something right at the last Mills there with the header but it only comes as far as John Bailey a few last tense moments here for Southampton Dennis now with the header this time helped on by Armstrong and suddenly defense might become attack as Williams finds Moran and Ratcliffe so quick gets in there again but Southampton get the throw eight a minute added on for injuries Mills a saviour at one end with that save off the line, trying to set something up for Wallace, and now for Armstrong, and the chance fleetingly was there again for Southampton. Mills who crossed it in, and Wallace who played a nice little ball there. And Armstrong well away. goes for the end of 90 minutes which means that we now get a period of extra time Everton territorially with so much to say for themselves in the second half a great shot in fact uh, a bad miss to be truthful by Adrian Heath and then a great save on the line by Mick Mills also from Adrian Heath So the first period of extra time gets underway. Everton attack the goal to our right. As they did in the first half. Here's Richardson. Outfield. Towards Gray, beaten in the air by Wright. Dennis. Trevor Stephen, here's Kevin Richardson. Good challenge by Dennis, but it's Everton's throw. Gray, and now Curran, looking lower this time towards Heath. Reed with a shot, and Shilton would only have seen that late, and it would have crept in just by the far post. Adrian Heath, he hit it first time, Peter Reid, and Shilton well behind it. Southampton throw. And then Wallace quickly picked up Armstrong in turn. There's Worthington on the far side. Worthington shot, brilliant save again. Southampton players hold their heads. Frank Worthington looks not much to say how on earth did he save that one. Well, that's how. Caught it well, and Southall stretching well to push it behind he's made one or two really valuable saves this afternoon over Southall so Wallace finding Mills just one once more towards right too high for him can Dennis get there not before Mountfield a goal kick
Stephen. Richardson. Stevens. Concentration lagged for a moment. Just as when it seemed also that Everton were getting into a little bit of a rhythm. Well, maybe they can set it up again. Radcliffe. Eight. Again, trying to dummy his way clear of Holmes, and this time he's managed to do so. Only to find Mark right there to get the ball away in the touch. Heath again. In the corner. Again, Everton press forward. Trevor Stephen takes this corner for him. And again, he hits it straight at Nick Holmes. But he now has a chance to redeem himself. And he's gone past Steve Williams. It's a better looking cross. Andy Gray and Derek Manfield. Suddenly was there, confronted by Shilton. And over the top it went. Just a minor question mark there about some of the Southampton marking. And a sign that Graham Sharp has got his tracksuit bottoms off. Maybe he'll be coming on for the second period of extra time for Everton. Well, the first 15 minutes are up. In fact, Howard Kendall is having a word with the Graham Sharp, and he is indeed coming on. Just out of the picture on your right-hand side, Sharp is stripping off, and it's going to be Terry Cowan who comes off. Now Sharp is quite a goal scorer. He's been their top scorer for the last two seasons. Now they've changed their mind, that's remarkable. They've put up the seven for Curran to go off. Now this is interesting. And now suddenly they've changed their mind, put up the ten, and it's going to be Trevor Stephen who's coming off. Well, the indications are then that Howard Kendall has decided it's hell for leather now against Southampton. He's brought on an extra front man. And he's playing, presumably, with four up front. Curran and Heath will do that, although they may just drop back a little bit. It's Sharp and Heath, the Sharp and the Gray who are playing up front now as out and out strikers. Reed. Curran. Ooh. And Gray couldn't quite get in there. It's carried just beyond those two defenders, Holmes and Wright. Gray, who scored, in fact, with a diving header, with a half volley header almost, against Notts County in the last round, was set to repeat it. It needs something now to inspire Southampton, who played second fiddle for much of the last half hour of this game to Everton, who just can't find a way to get the ball past Shilton. Here they come again. Another throw with five minutes of extra time remaining. Sharp. Gray straight into the arms of Shilton. Well, a touch just a foot either side might have been enough from that sort of range, but look how comfortably it fell into the arms of Peter Shilton. A very good header won by Graham Sharp. Now Bailey. And still Everton pile forward. They must feel that even though there's little time left, that there will not be a better opportunity for them to press home their advantage and get themselves a place at Wembley. And Southampton, I fancy, would be just happy to defend and get themselves a replay at the moment. 
seems to the knife seems to have been drained from them with four minutes of extra time remaining it's gone Southampton's way Williams maybe Southampton is that ball goes to Danny Wallace we'll find the answer yet Roundfield away, that looked like a handball by Mark Dennis, and the referee was perfectly placed to see it. Here's Reed. Curran. Stevens. Midfield are chasing back. And a handball by the Southampton defender. Gives Everton a very interesting free kick. With about three minutes of extra time remaining, a little chip will be coming now from Peter Reed. Sharp, Mountfield, Gray, Heath are all in there. It's Mountfield, and it's Heath. are on the field and what about that they know that surely books them the place Adrian Heath who's missed an absolute sitter has had a shot kick off the line by Mick Mills has finally come good and it's going to take a minute or two to clear Highbury from the Everton fans who've invaded in strength there he is, an awkward header, but in the post, inside the post it goes, and Everton have scored a priceless goal. Well, the Everton fans are now getting back behind the barriers, and in a way you can understand their jubilation when you consider how they played second fiddle up on Merseyside so long they got to Wembley for the Milk Cup and lost it to Liverpool and now firing an incredible and dramatic twist they've made themselves another chance there Bailey with that header away Williams playing it wide Mills now but straight to Southall kick for Everton Peter Reid will take it then the old head got the better of him and he said hold on we've got nothing to hurry for Thinking the Southampton defender to be back and that's going to be another Everton corner and you have to say that territorially they've had so much of this game and now they found the goal that's going to put them through to Wembley and there's one fellow who's come onto the field to hold things up the Everton fans are giving him a right roasting you can be sure goal now the Everton fans just waiting for that final whistle which has come Ivory's invaded the Everton players are dancing with joy they've got themselves through to Wembley for the second time this season and Adrian Heath who looked for a while as though he might be the man 
who would regret this semi-final with a golden chance miss and a shot kicked off the line is the fellow with just a couple of minutes of extra time remaining who has made it. Ryan Robson returning.